Well, let me tell you something, brother. Welcome back, everyone. This is part five in my WrestleMania 30 series breakdown. And number five is talking about the 30-man Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. If I'm going to say this right off the bat, If Andre the Giant was not attached to this battle royal in some way, this would have been the pre-show match. <laughs> um, I do think, I do think it's really good that they're honoring Andre the Giant in some way because this is the 30th anniversary of. Of, uh, of Wrestlemania um, when Hulk Hogan came out a few weeks ago uh, was it two weeks after the big comeback in Green Bay yeah I'm going to bring that up <laughs> uh, said he had a big announcement uh, and at first it was kind of like oh crap is he really going to get back in the ring? Because he's always working out. And he makes that well known. There's always, you know, pictures going up. Him, you know, what do they say? Hanging and banging or whatever. I don't know. In the gym. Working out. He's in, he's in good shape, too. Don't get me wrong. Um, this battle royal, a memorial to Andre the Giant, 30 men um, it's a great way for the rest of the card that's not main eventing uh, to be a part of Wrestlemania you know because everyone wants that Wrestlemania moment or to be in Wrestlemania uh, in some way you know to say hey you know if you're low on the card at least you're a part of it you can say I was part of the Andre the Giant 30th anniversary memorial battle royal, you know. Um, so we'll take a quick look and see who's all in it. Uh, it's changed a little bit over the last few weeks. Uh, let's see here. We got Dolph Ziggler, Intercontinental Champion Big E, Fandango, Alberto Del Rio. Damian Sandow, Titus O'Neil. Now, Christian is in the list, but he hasn't been on TV in a few weeks because he was listed as having a concussion. So is he going to be ready in a few days for WrestleMania? I don't know. But as of a couple days ago, he's still on the list. So we'll see. Um, Sheamus, Big Show, Mark Henry, Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, Drew McIntyre, so all of 3MB, <clears throat> uh, Cody Rhodes and Goldust, the Rhodes Brothers, Kofi Kingston, The Miz, Brodus Clay, haven't seen him in a while, uh, Darren Young, Justin Gabriel, him too, haven't seen him in ages, uh, Rey Mysterio, R-Truth, Santino Morella, uh, The Great Khali, Great Khali, uh, Zach Ryder, Sin Cara, and Brad Maddox is the most recent one to throw his hat into the ring for this battle royal. Um, uh, it's it's a good bunch of guys that pretty much covers just about everyone on the main roster. Um, you know, even guys like Zach Ryder want a spot. Um, so. This, uh, and that's, that's 20, is that 27? That's 27 spots, I believe. 26 if you take out Christian. Because like I said, I don't know if he's ready or not. But we'll see. Um, so then that, you know, that opens up the whole 
well, who's going to show up? Um, <clears throat> could be uh, someone said uh, RVD is going to come back during this uh, during this battle royal. Uh, there's a good chance for that. Um, it'd be cool to see. Uh, would I expect him to win it? No, but it'd be great to see him because it's <clears throat> when RVD came back. He it was well, I don't know if it was official or what, but it was said that he was going to come back and do like a three month on, three month off, three month on, three month off deal. You know, so kind of a, a, a part-time deal, I guess, but when he's back, he's back. He's going to be wrestling a lot. He's not just oh, only doing pay-per-views and stuff. And when he was back, he was he was good. He had a you know good run. He did a great match with uh, Dean Ambrose, and he did a few others. I can't remember what he did, but anyways, uh, it'll be great to see him. Uh... Could they be debuting someone from NXT? Uh, yeah, I'd say there's a good possibility of that. The only one off the top of my head that I think is going to get thrown in there is, well, technically he's part of the main roster now, but he hasn't wrestled yet on the main roster. And that's Alexander Rusev, the Bulgarian. Uh... And he'll come out with Lana, and they'll both get thrown in there. And that'll be two slots. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no, but Alexander Rusev, I think, is a good has a good chance of debuting at this year's WrestleMania in that battle royal. Um, I haven't heard of any other significant names, surprise names. Oh, I, I heard one idiot out there say, Oh, wouldn't it be great if Sting debuted in the 30-man Andre the Giant Battle Royal? Really? <laughs> Come on. I mean, that's just... No, that's... <laughs> no, just no, okay? <laughs> um, I can't think of anyone else. So that leaves one and or two, depending on if Christian's in it or not slots open. Uh, I can't think of anyone else. Until now. Just thought of this. What if, I love these what ifs, what if Hogan was the last guy to be in this battle royal? He announced it. It's his baby, brother. <laughs> uh, man, could it be his one chance to be in a match this year at WrestleMania 30 in that battle royal? Well, that'd be kind of cool. You know, but the more. Having a dull moment right in the middle of my own video. <laughs> wow, yeah, think about that for a second. Hulk Hogan, last guy announced for the Battle Royal. And everyone's just like, oh crap, here comes Hogan. <laughs> comes out, just starts hammering people, giving people the big boot, people flying over the top rope. Comes across someone, someone upper middle card, you know, does the you and you know the entire super bowl super dome just you know go, just going nuts. Oh my god. Alright, I'm I'm not gonna get myself too psyched up for this because um yeah. I'm I'm, I'm liking this idea a little too much I have to admit. <laughs> Would it be cool? In my opinion, yes. I I I love Hogan. I would love to have him have one last match. I wanted him to have one last match at this WrestleMania 30, the show of shows. Uh, 
but when they said he wouldn't be cleared, you know, physically cleared to wrestle, it was like, oh, all right, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. He's hosting it. He's going to be, you know, pretty much doing what The Rock did, was it three years ago? Three years ago, I think, yeah, when he hosted WrestleMania. Uh, appearances throughout the night. He'll probably kick off WrestleMania, you know, do a little shtick. Come down to the ring in the golden yellow. His music cranked. Oh, man, I got goosebumps thinking about it. I'm sorry. I, I, I love Hogan, all right? I grew up with Hogan. I will always love Hogan in some way, shape, or form. And um, the fact that he's back in the WWE, I think, is awesome. But, okay, enough about Hogan. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, he, he, he could be, potentially could be in this battle royal. Uh, I, I, I shouldn't, I really shouldn't pick a winner now because I want to do that for my prediction video. Uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to cut it off there because now I'm, I'm starting to think about winners and I want to talk about that, but I'm going to save that for my, for my prediction video. So that's all the participants. Um, and that's it as far as surprise guys. Uh, just a couple. You know, there aren't that many open slots. It's not like the Royal Rumble where there was like, you know, what, five or ten open slots or whatever it was. Um, so, so that's it, yeah. 30 man, Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, should be great. Is Hogan going to be in it? <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the next one is going to be... Oh, we got three videos left. Oh, the Divas. We'll, we'll, we'll talk some Divas. <laughs> Come on back, guys. See you for the next one. Have a good one. Talk to you later.